Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Are you sure? I think you've had not enough sugar this morning with your cinema and all your cake and your sweets and your sandwiches. Well, you've certainly had a fantastic penultimate day at Creighton Primary, haven't you? Lots and lots of very exciting things going on. So this is going to be your very last assembly with us, unfortunately. It's a mixture of sad feelings and happy feelings, excited, nervous, lots and lots of different feelings going on um, with all of you when you're thinking about going on to all your new and exciting new schools. So this afternoon, we've got a, a jam-packed programme. Miss Hay has prepared her um, speech and I'm sure you will all enjoy listening to what she has to say about you and your years um, in Creighton. Oh, our house who are going to speak about their time in Creighton as well. And then I believe you have been practicing a special song that you're going to sing for everybody. And we've got our usual gifts to give you out as well, okay? So just a wee bit of housekeeping. Once you've had the speech from Miss Hay and you are being asked to come up to the table, you are going to go behind the table and over towards the um, outside classroom where we're going to get some photographs of you as well, okay? But we'll keep you right and we'll keep you going in the right direction. So I'm going to hand over to Miss Hay for her speech. Well, Primary 7, what a final year at Creighton you have had. Last year we had our socially distanced graduation and I don't think any of us could ever imagine that a year on we'd be doing the same and that we've had to endure the year that we've had to. This year Covid has stolen so many opportunities from you. The residential trip to Lockerbie, leadership opportunities in buddying and leading committees, the list could go on. However, you've done it. You've got through an incredibly challenging year, showing yourself to be resilient, resourceful, adaptable, and exceptionally tech-savvy young people. But let's not meet today about COVID. It's taken too much from us already. Today is about celebrating your creating journey. For many of you, it has been a seven year plus journey where you've been part of the creating family and for some of you, that's been a shorter one. But I hope that you will all take with you today a piece of creating in your hearts. Whether that be a memory, or a friendship, or something entirely different, that you will take with you something that you have learned during your time as part of the creating family. Having worked in a good number of Glasgow schools, I can hand on heart say that creating children show the school values daily which is a credit to all of you. It's what makes creating special and unique. Take that with you as you fly the creating nest and you won't go far wrong. Today you're leaving behind the familiar, leaving friends and teachers, a school building that you know inside out, every nook and cranny of it. And you're starting in a school where you know very few people. But in a few weeks, you'll be meeting those new friends and teachers, and those new friendships will affect you for years to come. Whichever school you're heading to, whether that's Ross Hall or Bella, Ben Through High or Lourdes, I have some advice for you to take with you. Everyone will tell you as you move on to secondary to work hard and to do your best. But I also want you to remember something that's equally important to success. That is your character and your reputation. As you know, character is the type of person you are. And your reputation is the opinion people hold about you. Whether that's a true opinion or not, that's reputation. At high school, the friends you choose will have a lot of influence on your character and reputation. So choose your new friends carefully as you move on. Don't be tempted to join in the texting or the Insta chats where negative things are being said about someone else just so that you fit in. Always think for yourself. You are all unique and individual and you have your own thoughts. Use them. Three things to think. 
Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? You see, words have power. The old adage of sticks and stones will break your bones but names will never hurt hurt you, simply not true. Words and names can be extremely damaging. Words can build people up, but they can also break a person. So to you, I say today, develop a positive character, a positive reputation, and use words that build people up. And if you find yourself in the company of someone who wants to tempt you to do things that you're not sure about, always remember the words of, when in doubt, do the right thing. Remember those creating values that you have shown over these last few years of love, honesty, respect, responsibility, and cooperation. What will you do if you're in doubt? Anyone? Adam. Thank you, Adam. Do the right thing. How do you know if it's the right thing? The right thing is the thing that will make you proud of yourself. And your parents and teachers proud of you, even if they can't see you at the time. Sometimes we'll all make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes are there for a reason, to teach us. The main thing to remember is be of a good character and be able to apologise if you've done the wrong thing. And don't beat yourself up about it. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and to grow. So remember this, words are powerful. And in knowing that, try your best to be a master of words. Read widely, collect words, and develop a love of using them effectively. They will take you far in life. With bags of good character, care for how you make other people feel, and shed loads of vocabulary, you will have the foundations to do your best at high school and throughout your future lives. From all of us at Creighton, we wish you all the very best for a very successful future. We're going to move on and we're going to do the capping of you. We're going to be gifting you. But before that, I think that there are four very important people who have had leadership opportunities this year, who have been our house captains, and I think they have some words of wisdom that they would like to pass on to you. So I shall pass over to them now. Captains, I've been given the responsibility along with my fellow captains to say the last few words on behalf of Primary Seven. Firstly, I'd like to thank Ms. Hay and the rest of the management team for the amazing send off we have been given. With COVID restrictions taking so much from us this year and last, it was great to have this morning to celebrate and have fun with the people we have grown up with, learned with. Most importantly, we have been loved, respected, encouraged, nurtured, and given the life skill we need to take us on to the next step of our journey. Just saying thank you to the staff and teachers at Creighton is not enough to express our gratitude. We promise you will strive to be successful learners, corporate individuals, responsible citizens, and effective contributors to society so that our teachers can proudly say that we are proud of our creative learning school. We'd like to thank you all for the learning, the fun, the laughter, and the unforgettable moments of creating that have made our creative experience so memorable. Creighton has taught us that we all deserve a positive destination, that it's okay to make mistakes and that we should make the most of every opportunity given. We should be bold enough to use our voice, brave enough to listen to our hearts and strong enough to live the life we've always imagined. 
And of course, Clayton has taught us the golden rule that is, we should treat others the way we wish to be treated. Today we enjoy our last full day of primary school, but fear not, because we can do this. Learning remotely wasn't easy, but we did it. Coming back to school after so long at home was not easy, but we did it. Leaving the school will be difficult, but we will get there, and we'll have so many fantastic things to look forward to when we do. I want to end with a quote from Dr. Zeus that is as relevant now as it is when it was first written. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get in your way. Thank you everyone for listening and goodbye from the P7 class of 2021. So before we move on to Kathleen Yu, I think we've got one of our primary servants who would like to read a poem that he's written. Byron, would you like to come back up? Great team is the best school can ever ask for. They let you grow and grow and until you can be who you want to be. Whoever you want to be, create team will support you. Come rain or shine, create teams are for you. Okay, so without further ado, um, Miss Haney will call out your name and you're going to come forward.
I think now uh, the Premier Sevens have a uh, treat for everybody. They've been practicing very hard over the last few weeks um, to learn a song about how they're feeling about moving creating. So Premier Seven, could you put your gifts just down at your feet and you're going to turn around?